the Hippo water roller and uh, it's made in South Africa. It's made from durable plastic. Um, it's so that people can actually transport water up to 90 litres inside this uh, vat here by pushing it. Uh, it rotates around a central axis with the handle, like that. Basically, a lot of people in sub-Saharan countries, as we've seen, have to carry 20 litres or more of water on buckets on their heads. And this can be really damaging to their axial skeletal structure, to their, to their spine, um, to their muscles and their nerves as well, which can cause damage by the age of 17. So the idea here is that instead of carrying 20 litres on their head, last them a day, they can carry 90 litres inside one of these, and last them three days, maybe they can feed their crops, feed their animals, bathe in it. It's got an airtight seal in it, which basically allows the water to be kept fresh rather than going stagnant. They're manufactured, like I said, in South Africa, but Imbuvu, um, a company that are working with the people that make hippo water rollers, they've created a mobile factory unit so they can travel to the areas where people most need these and they can actually use the people themselves to make hippo water rollers. Because effectively for transport, they're not very efficient space-wise because of the shape. Uh, so if you can actually just take the raw materials down to the place where they're most needed and actually use those people to make the product they need, obviously you're saving on transport and energy costs there as well.